Hello and good day. And I come to say hi. I have not been feeling well, so I have not put up a video in a couple of days. And um, there's that um word again. I'm dropping things all over the place. My neighbor told me I'm being watched. Hmm, I wonder why and I wonder by who and why they're being so guilty and doing what they're doing and watching me. I've been wanting to talk to you about the book of Job. The book of Job. God took everything from Job in his children, his life, his wife, everything he took from him. And for 40 years he wandered in the desert trying to make his way back home, trying to make things right in his life with God. We trust God in our lives to make our lives better. Uh, and I'm sorry my voice is so raspy, but I have not been doing well. I've had the flu. So, um, moving on. We, God puts us in particular situations to make it stronger for us in our life. Forty years ago, or forty years ago, I was chased out of Las Vegas by my foster sister because she was jealous of me and the situation I had with my foster father, who was Alan Stroud. He was a kind man and he was a good man. God bless his soul for taking care of those and those in their time of need. My book of Job goes that my sister, my foster sister chased me out of Las Vegas, out of Moab to be exact, where we were at, taking care of my foster father was running Howard Hughes' ranch. It's a funny thing to see a horse head coming into your window. <laughs> anyway, we went on. Um, she put me out on the highway with no clothes, no nothing, and said, go never come back and have no contact with any of the family members. So I didn't for 40 years. A little under, so let me take that back, under 35 years, I finally gave my foster father a contact call and let him know that I was doing well and I was safe and I was secure in Portland, Oregon. I always stayed in the Portland area because I knew sooner or later that somebody would find me there. And I loved it up there. I loved the wilderness. I loved the northwest areas, the green, the grass, the trees. I came back to Nevada, Las Vegas because I was asked to come home. And I came home. It took me 40 years. It's like the book of Job. I wandered through the deserts, having everything taken from me, having, you know, my children taken from me, my homes taken from me, living the life of a desolate person. I made it. I'm here, and I'm stronger. <sighs> okay. I'm okay. Um... Alan Stroud was a very, very good man. He took care of me the best way that he could and helped me in any way that he could. Took me from a very, very bad situation in my family life and the abuse of my older brother to the abuse of my mother. No child could ever live like that. I still have the scars from it. I have tried to bury it. I've tried to put it into my past. It's hard for me to trust. It's hard for me to believe when anybody says anything to me that they're going to do something. You're going to do something, do it. Be here. Don't say you're going to do it because I've heard that so many times. Uh, my voice is raspy like it is because I have had the flu. My housework hasn't been done as you can see. There's a duster hanging up over there off the bench. The, the CD that I got pissed off at a couple weeks ago because it came broken. The new one came and it worked beautifully. And I, I made it. I made it through the 40 years. I finally came back after 40 years. I came back. That's why I call my life the Book of Job. God put me through some testing that he knew I could survive. From living on the streets in, in, in Skid Row in L.A. to living on the streets in Las Vegas when I first came back. I've been stronger. I've been more stable in where I'm at now. I've got a good life now. And more is to come. More is to be updated. Um, I'm going to start crying because I haven't felt well. Like I said, I've had the flu all week.
This is the first I've felt well in a while. Except for the voice. <laughs> and who is ever watching me, go ahead and watch me all you want because I'm not doing anything that you're doing wrong. So, God is always with us. Make sure that you say your daily prayers and give blessings to those around you that have uplifted your life and that have helped you to move along knowing and helping you make you feel stronger. Um, I'm going to go start to tearing up again. As life has been a struggle, but I've been made stronger because of God in my life and Jesus always being there, always helping me through no matter what I've been through. <coughs> no matter what I've done, Jesus has been there to help me, guide me along. You walk in that path, he'll guide you. a deep breath everything's going to be fine and everything's going to work out stay safe stay well be blessed never ever drive faster than your angel can fly have a great day everybody thank you for all you do